Hey guys and welcome to Dainty Bite. If you're into crispy, crunchy, savory stuff, you're gonna absolutely love these Zatar crackers. They're vegan, they're so so easy to make. I serve with olives, cucumbers, cheeses, feta cheese, halloumi cheese, nabulsi cheese, whatever you like. Let me show you how to make them and let's get started. I start by adding 3 cups of all-purpose flour to a clean bowl. I weigh the flour, each cup is about 136 grams. And to the flour you're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a cup of toasted sesame seeds and half a cup of za'atar mix, half a tablespoon of a good Italian seasoning. You're gonna add 3 quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, 1 quarter cup of vegetable oil, and 3 quarters of a cup of room temperature water. You can buy ready-made za'atar mix in any Middle Eastern store or online, or you can make it yourselves. It's basically dried thyme, sesame seeds, and some spices. And I'll be leaving all the amounts and all the ingredients in the description box below, so check it out. And I switch to a rubber spatula, mix all the ingredients together. I'm gonna use my hand and mix everything until very well combined. Now for the shaping, you're gonna try to roll a very thin layer. And what you can do, you can use a circular cookie cutter or a rectangular cookie cutter or you can simply use a knife, a pizza cutter. I'm simply using a knife, I'm cutting some very long strips. I place on a parchment lined pan and I'm gonna bake in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. Your first tray might take 35 minutes to develop a nice color. Keep an eye on them though, because every oven is different. You want them to develop a little bit of color and become crispy. Once these bake, the whole house will smell amazing. They're gonna be so addictive. I really hope you give this recipe a try. I love them with a hot cup of tea or maybe cucumbers and cheese, white cheese. Or you can top a mixed salad. I really hope you give this recipe a try. And if you like my recipes, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my recipes. And follow me on social media. The links are going to be in the description box below. And until next time, bon appétit.